Hello, everybody. Welcome so much to Isn't It Wonderful? I do get a lot of joy from reading to you this book right now. And I'm reading it for the first time, so it's a blast for me. I'm going to do half of this chapter just to give you some uh, nipples, some lunch, a little bit of a uh, spiritual dinner here. And it's chapter 15. It's called Three Planes. So we're going to discover the three planes here. So to start, the three planes of existence, matter, mind, spirit, referred to as three measures of meal, which eventually all become leaven. You know, I didn't even, I used the word meal in bits and snacks, and he mentions meal. Uh, and I've never read this, so this is my first time reading it. So explain themselves somewhat after this fashion. Number one is master plane. Here, matter is used to heal matter. Medicine is poured into matter with the hopes of healing it. Man earns his living by the sweat of his brow. He belongs to the classification. You say it is four months until harvest. He says it takes time for man to grow. He is a creature of time and space and all the laws he concocts by looking at the appearances of things. Finally, having exploded one material remedy, after another, he turns to the process of thought, mind plane. Here man thinks or attempts to think his way out of difficulties. He believes that by thinking along a certain line, he will arrive at the desired end. Well, he goes so far as to believe that he can prosper himself by merely thinking he is prosperous. He believes he can heal disease by thinking there is no disease. When confronted by the millions of failures along the line, he says, it is not merely thinking, but knowing that will make the difference. But in spite of the fact that many things have been known for ages, no results have followed. It is a known thing that the master walked on the water but that does not mean that the knower of this fact can do the same thing. He may know perfectly how to treat and also that perfect health is man's heritage and die while he is in the very process of knowing the truth, as he calls it. He may and probably does think and know that all that the Father hath is mine but he does not follow that he has enough to live on. From time to time, his work seems to have been effective, but much of it has failed utterly. There's no set formula, no way of approaching the world of thought. One system tells him to enter from one end and another tells him di diametrically the opposite. We are taught concentration, we are taught relaxation, and we are taught to speak as one having authority. But until we obey the law, which says, and I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. And which of you, by ta taking thought, can add one cubit to his stature. We will ever be fussing about trying to think ourselves out of difficulties in finding it in the last analysis that we have largely been under self-hypnosis. Self-hypnosis, like thinking yourself out of something. It's like self-help. The, the self helping the self. Helping the self. Helping the self. Helping the self. The self is not... The guidance is from the existence and the creator of God. Self-help will put you deep into the hole. If the law states clearly that nothing is to be changed by thinking, then why does man persist in trying to think himself out of difficulties? 
a survey of the thinking process of making success happiness and health shows clearly that there's more failure than success. No matter what your opinion may be regarding the subject, you never will change anything in reality by your thought processes. If the eternal verities were to be changed by the mere thinking of man, the whole existence would be at the mercy of man and chaos would result. The only thing that has changed by thinking is your attitude towards the thing. Some people think that meat is harmful to them, others that they cannot do without it. What about this? Is the help or harm in the meat? As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. It is a clear summoning up of the man from the mental plane. It does not follow because you think a certain way that makes it the same for another, right on. Because you think a thing is good does not necessarily make it so. At one time it was thought to be good to force a religion on people, obliging them to attend religious services. Today this has changed. Yeah, try dragging someone to church. Try bringing someone to church. Try try it. Just because you don't know where they stand, they'll probably resent you in the end. Only beliefs can be changed. Realities never can. And so man, again, finds that he is up against a shifting, changing system of thought. He has beseeched, begged, pleaded, and even demanded that he claim what's his divine heritage. Without the slightest results, he has lived upon some far distant demonstration of power, and he has drained it of its inspiration, hoping against hope that he might have a return of the power. He has asked himself and others why it is that he is unable to heal or get healed. And eventually he turns to the spirit. I'm going to leave it at, at there. So um, just a little uh, shift here. Uh, I'll just let you this little bit and then we'll cover the other uh, three. But anyways, think about what I have just said and uh, check me out tomorrow and we will do spirit. Thank you. Subscribe, like, share. Mm -hmm -hmm. You know what to do. Bye.